M River Weirs. Good river habitat forms as the result of a healthy balance of erosion and deposition. This process of supply and redistribution of riverbed and bank material is what provides the rich variety of plants, animals and microorganisms with their opportunities to survive. Each particular flow velocity, depth and bed material will support its own characteristic biological communities. The very same processes that form these features in the M River model are responsible for creating real river habitats. Whilst we all know about the blockage to fish migration posed by weirs, we are less likely to realise how these structures also block the very processes that create suitable spawning, juvenile and adult fish habitat in the first place. Water held back by weirs is robbed of the energy it needs to produce varied conditions. As a result, too much of the open water habitat becomes bland and only suitable for a smaller number of species. Compare this to sections that have a good diversity of fast, slow, shallow and deep and there are far more opportunities for life. Weirs, then, have significant potential to harm river biodiversity. The transport of sediment is an underappreciated but vital process that the M River can help to demonstrate. As well as trapping sediment and slowing current speeds upstream, the reduced supply of sediment downstream significantly increases the net erosion below the weir. Here it's scoured down to the metal base of the model river. In addition, because there is too little sediment being supplied, there's hardly any potential for valuable natural gravel and cobble bars to form. There will also be a much more violent response to heavy rainfall as the river rises very rapidly and with less sediment load, will also be more prone to erode riverbanks. All the while, preserving the bland habitat above the weir. Contrast this to where you have both ample sediment supply and energetic current flow. Here a variety of plants can thrive as well as perhaps providing just the right conditions for trout spawning. And even the specific flow, depth and velocity for each individual species of aquatic invertebrate. Not forgetting the whole variety of other life that is supported in these food webs. The teeming variety that you see in kick samples is critically dependent on the physical variety of the habitat itself. so that riffle specialists like this dipper can feed right next door to the areas favoured by pool and glide specialists. This is why it's valuable to remove weirs where possible. Free-flowing rivers naturally produce pool, glide and riffle habitat for all species. Weirs produce only bland pool habitat upstream and they can strangle riffle formation further downstream.